Hello guys, welcome to Edit. This is session two on game-based aptitude practice in Capgemini. So if you haven't watched our first video, I have included the link in description. Have a look at it. Okay, here you have the first question. Identify the pattern in which the question grids are colored and following the same pattern, color the given grids. Now, if you look one box, on top of it, you have yellow color bulk. At the bottom, in another box, you have green color, right? So you have only two colors. Now you have to look at the quality of the number. Now look at the first box. You have the number two, four, six, eight. So these are colored with yellow. Now look at the second box. You have one, five, nine, seven. They are colored with green. Now, if you look at the quality of number, it is very easy. So the first box have only even number, right? So the first box have only even number and second box have odd number. And look at the third box, you have even number and the box have odd number and this box have odd number as well as this box have even number. So it's very simple. The even numbered box are colored at yellow in top. Now the odd number colored box, I mean odd numbered box are colored with green at bottom. So what you have to do, you have to, so if you look at this box, you have only odd number. So you have to click this box. So the bottom box automatically, you will be shaded with green. Now look at the second box, you have even number. So you have to click the top. So automatically it will be colored with yellow or filled with yellow. Now look at the third box, you have odd number. So you have to look the, I mean, uh, the circle below the, box so that will be colored with green automatically now you have to click yellow for this because this is even number box right so you have to choose the top uh, circle so you will get the yellow color right so this is how you have to play the game right so this is one of the part of your cap gemini game based aptitude so here you have to look at the quality of the numbers sometimes they will ask question based on the structure for example they will give specifically some numbers uh, for example uh, so this box have number two so this is colored yellow so if uh, if you look at this so this box have number seven right second box have number seven so this is colored green so likewise they will ask question from structural arrangement also now look at the second question yes so here you have uh, four boxes on left hand side that is your question and four boxes on right hand side that is your answer so if you want to try pass the video and think for some seconds and try to solve it Okay, hope you got the answer. It is very simple, right? Now look at the first box. So you have even numbers as well as odd numbers. Now here also you have even numbers as well as odd numbers. So here the structure is the first box, box contains only prime numbers and second box have composite numbers. Right, so prime numbered box are colored with orange at top and the composite number box are colored with brown at bottom. It's very simple, right? So here also you have prime numbers. So prime numbers are colored with orange at top and odd numbers, I mean composite numbers are colored with brown at bottom. So you have to paint which color for first box. So here you have only prime numbers. So you have to color with orange at top. Now look at the second box, you have composite number. So you have to color with brown at bottom, right? So that just you have to click it, right? So if you just click the circle, you will get the color. Now look at third, you have 41, 37, 2, 5, 19. So they are prime numbers. So you have to choose orange color at top. Now look at the fourth box. You have composite number. So you have to choose brown at bottom. So this becomes your answer. It's very simple, right? Okay. Now look at the next question. Yes. So try to pass the video for some seconds. So here you have only two boxes and two boxes on right. So how to solve this? Okay, so this question seems to be a little complex, right? But it's very easy. So here you have to look uh, the quality of the number. So you have number 803, 616, 231, 968. Now I take this number 231. By looking the number itself, you can easily identify this number is multiplied by 11 because 231, what is 231? It is 21 into 11. Now look at this number 242. So 242 is 22 into 11. That means all the numbers in the box, first box is the multiple of 11. So they have colored with brown at the top. Now look at the second box. Okay, now if you look at the second box, so you have some uh, numbers which seems to be very difficult. So I pick 195 because this is multiple of five, right? So, okay, now if you divide 195 by five, what do you get? So if you cancel this, this is three times and nine times. 
right okay now again you can cancel this okay uh, you can cancel this with 13 into 3 so you have 3 into 13 into 5 right okay now if you look at all the numbers so all the numbers inside the box are multiplied by 13 right so you have to take one number and try to find out its factors right so it is multiple of 13 okay now uh, the multiples of 13s are colored with blue color at bottom it's very simple right now you have to check the boxes now look the first box so you have 363 308 165 so 165 is nothing but 15 into 11 363 so it is 33 into 11 so first box is multiple of 11s so you have to color with brown at top now look look at the second uh, box so you have 169 what is 169 it is 13 square right so 13 square means it is multiple of 13 so all the elements inside i mean numbers inside the uh, box is the multiple of 13 so you have to choose the circle at bottom right so automatically blue color will be colored so this will be the answer right so this is a type of game in capgemini so you have to give maximum uh, questions in this limited time right so it's very easy okay now moving to next type okay so you have one more question here right so it is structured based based question so i explained in first right so it is a structured based question now look at the first box it is colored with orange now look at the second box it is colored with blue now if you look at all the boxes you have letters a r z only so letters i mean the box contains letters a are colored with orange at top and the box containing letters z are colored with blue at bottom right so a are colored with orange and blue are colored with i mean z are colored with blue right so the same structure followed in the answer also so here you have a that means you have to click the top circle and in second box also you have a so you have to click the top circle you will get automatically orange now look at third circle here also you have a so you have to click orange only now look at the fourth you have z that means you have to click the bottom circle that will be colored with blue hope you understood moving to next question okay which operator is needed so this is the exact cap gemini question so i will show you how to solve this question right it's very simple so we have some practice questions here so now you have question figure and this is the answer figure now what we have to do so you have to choose any one of these three options right so you have to click any one of these three options click and put it at the place of question mark so which option to choose so here you have the structure it is similar to the topic coding and decoding okay now see you don't need to look at this uh, symbol at left hand side now in the box you have to write the elements with one two three four so you have a rhombus you have a circle you have a square and you have a star symbol right so at the top you have to write one two three four consecutively okay now look at this right so after manipulating i mean after executing these elements you are getting star uh, square a circle and rhombus now here you have star right so what is the number of star we have mapped four so write four there and you have square so what is the number of square it is three so write three here and what is the number of uh, circle it is two so write two here and you have uh, rhombus right so it is one so answer for this question is four three two one so you have to pick four three two two one and put it at the place of question mark so this becomes your answer it is very easy right and i have some questions for you so try to solve it by yourself by passing the video for some time okay hope you got the answer for this question so you can write one two three four as it is now you have rhombus so what is the answer it is three and you have star it is four next you have a pentagon it is one and you have some hearts heart shape symbol it is two so it is three four one two so you have to choose three four one two that is option e so click and put it here so this becomes your answer okay so this is your next question so pass the video for some time okay hope you got the answer so you have to write one two three four now you have the rectangle so write two and you have rhombus that is four you have star it is three and you have a circle that is one so answer is two four three one option b okay moving to next question okay so this is the question figure you don't need to worry about this and you have to find this question mark and this is double manipulation right so first you have you have to mark one two three four right you have three four two one right so they are changing it as three four two one so three means you have to get a pentagon right so pentagon is three 
Next you have four. Four is a star. Next you have two. What is two? So two is a six. Uh, six faced star like this okay next you have uh, one so what is one one is a circle right okay now what you have to do you have to mark one two three four over these symbols right so you have to mark one two three four over this symbol now look at this star you have yeah so the number is three here right so you have to write that three here next you have pentagon what is pentagon pentagon is one next you have circle circle is four next you have this star so the star two so you have to write two. So first, what you have to do, you have to write one, two, three, four on top of the symbols. Now you have to rewrite the symbols as given in the uh, order, I mean, arrangement. After that, you have to write one, two, three, four over the elements after the arrangement, then you have to map with the answer. So it is three, four, three, one, four, two. So answer is option C, three, one, four, two. Hope you got it right. Okay, now moving to next question. Okay, now write one, two, three, four. You have four, three, one, two, right? So what is four? Four is a hexagon, right? So four is a hexagon. Next you have three, three is a, a circle. Next you have one, that is a rhombus. Next you have two, so two is a star. Now what we have to do? We have to write one, two, three, four on top of the symbols. Okay, are at the bottom of the symbols. Okay, next you have star here. So what is star? It is four. Next you have circle. So circle is two. Next you have a rhombus that is three. Next you have a hexagon that is one. So it is four, two, three, one. So answer is option B, four, two, three, one. So you have to click and drag it on the place of question mark. Okay. So pass the video and try to solve it by yourself. This is question. You have to solve this. Okay, hope you got the answer. So it is one, two, three, four, five. So total you have five elements, right? Okay, now you have one, five, four, two, three. So what is one? So one is a pentagon. Next you have five, five is a hexagon. Next you have four, four is a circle and two is a rectangle. What is three? Three is a star. Now you have to write one, two, three, four, five over this. Now look at the answer. So you have a rectangle here. What is rectangle? Four. Next you have a star that is five. Next you have a circle that is a three. Next you have a pentagon that is one. Next you have a hexagon that is two. So four, five, three, one, two. So option C is your answer. It's easy, right? Okay, moving to next question. Okay, so write one, two, three, four, five over the symbols. Now you have one. So what is one? One is a circle. You have three. So three is a right angle triangle and five. Five is a square. Next you have four. Four is a pentagon. Next you have two. What is two? It is an equilateral triangle. Now write one, two, three, four, five. Right? Now you have a pentagon. What is pentagon? It is four here. Next you have a right angle triangle. That is two. Next, you have a square that is three. Next, you have a circle, which is one. Next, you have an equilateral triangle that is five. So answer is four, two, three, one, five. So this becomes your answer, option C. Okay, moving to next question. Yes, so it is one, two, three, four, five. Now you have five, two, three, four, one. So what is five? Five is a star. Yes, five is a star and two is a six sided star. And next you have three, three is a pentagon. And next four, four is a rhombus. And one is a five sided, I mean, a star, right? So again, you have to write one, two, three, four, five over this. So first you have a six sided star, right? So what is six sided star here? It is two, right? So first write two. Next you have a pentagon. What is a pentagon? Pentagon is three. Next, you have four sided star that is one. Next, you have a five sided star that is five. And next, you have a rhombus that is four. So, answer is two, three, one, five, four. So, you have two, three, one, five, four at option A. So, this is your answer, right? So, you have to click and put it on the place of question mark. Next, okay, now you have the same symbols here, right? But with different colors. So here you don't, don't need to take the symbols, try to take the colors. Okay, so you can take it as a red color, brown color, yellow color and blue color. So now write one, two, three, four, right? So it is four, two, three, one. So what is four? Four is a blue, right? So I write BL for blue. 
and two is brown, so brown is B, and three, so three is yellow, right? Yellow, and uh, you have one. One is a red color R. Now again, write one, two, three, four over this. Now first you have blue color. What is blue color? It is one, right? Next you have red color. Red color is four. Next you have yellow color. That is three. Next you have brown color. Brown is two. So it is one, four, three, two. Option B is your answer. Okay. So when you have same symbols and different colors, you can write the colors and match it. So you will get it easily. Okay. So next question. So you have six elements here. So it is same. One, two, three, four, five, six. So first you have to write pentagon, right? So you have to draw pentagon, right? Okay. Now next it is a circle and next it's a rectangle. Four is a rectangle. Next you have three. Three is a rhombus. Next you have one. One is a triangle. Next you have two. Two is a four-sided star. Okay. Now again you have to write one, two, three, four, five, six over this. Now first you have pentagon. What is pentagon? Pentagon is one. Next you have a rectangle that is three. Next you have circle. Circle is two. Next you have equilateral triangle that is five. Next you have star that is six. Next you have a rhombus that is four. So answer is one, three, two, five, six, four. Option A is your answer. I mean one, three, two, five, six, four. Option C is your answer. Okay. So you have to click and put it in the place of question mark. So next, which operator is needed? Okay. So here the input is manipulated for three times. So how to work it? It is same way. So first you have to write one, two, three, four. Now you have two, four, three, one. So what is two? Circle. What is four? It's a rhombus. What is three? Three is a um, rectangle and one is a equal triangle. Now again, you have to write one, two, three, four at the top of symbols. Now you have the manipulation again, right? So again, you have an another process. So you have three. So what is a three? So three is a square. Next you have four, four is a equal triangle and one is a circle and two is a rhombus. Now again, you have to write one, two, three, four over this. Now by placing which number, by which manipulation you will get the elements like this. So you have two, right? So first you have to write two. Next circle, what is circle? It is three. Next you have rectangle, that is one. Next you have a pentagon, that is four. So it is two, three, one, four. So option B becomes your answer. Right. Okay. Hope you got it. Now try to pass the video and work it by yourself. Okay. So it is one, two, three, four. Now you have four, three, one, two. What is four? Four is a rhombus. Three is a rectangle. One is a star. And next two is a square. Now again, you have to write one, two, three, four over this. Okay. Now you have one, three, four, two. What is one? One is a rhombus and three is a star and four is a square and two is a triangle. Again, write one, two, three, four over this. Now you have symbols at last. Okay, first you have a rhombus. What is a rhombus? One. And next you have a rectangle, that is three. Next you have a star, that is two. And next you have a triangle, that is four. So it is one, three, two, four. Option A is your answer. Hope you got it. Okay, so this is end of your second game. Now we are moving to the third game. So third game is nothing but a calculator, right? So here you have dash into dash plus dash equal to 73. So you can try with option whichever you know. Okay, so here the structure is, so this is most popular type of question. So dash into dash plus dash equal to nine. So the maximum value you can fill here is nine and the minimum value you can fill here is one. You don't have a zero, right? So you can fill from one to nine at this place, right? And you don't have zero and this is your uh, delete symbol. Right, so you can delete it if you make make any mistakes. Okay, now if you place nine here, right? So if you place nine here, this one must be sixty four, right? By multiplying these two numbers, you have to get sixty four. Eight into eight, you get sixty four, but you have to use unique digits, so they have to be different digits. Okay, so which numbers we can use? It's very simple, right? So you can use nine into eight. What is nine into eight? Seventy two. Seventy two plus one, seventy three. This is your answer, right? So you have to click nine for first dash, eight for second dash, and one for last dash. So answer is 73. If it's satisfied, you will get the next level of question. Okay, dash into dash plus dash equal to 64. So which number we can fill? So you can pause the video for some time and try to work it down by yourself. Okay, dash into dash plus dash equal to 64.
Okay, hope you got the answer. It is very simple, right? So you can use nine into seven. Okay, it's nine into seven is 63. 63 plus one is 64. Or it is seven into nine, 63. 63 plus one is 64, right? So you can fill with any numbers. That's not a problem, but you have to satisfy this equation. Okay, now next question. Dash into dash plus dash equal to 42. So you can fill with which number? So try to pass the video for some time and work it down by yourself. So you have uh, many numbers, right? So nine into four, 36. 36 plus six is 42. Or uh, four into nine is 36. 36 plus six is 42. So you can fill it with any number, right? So nine into four is 36. 36 plus six is 42. Or you can write five into four. Uh, yeah, five into eight, 40. 40 plus two, 42. So you can write any, any numbers, right? Yes. So moving to next question. So dash into dash plus dash equal to 35. So try to pass the video for some time and work it down by yourself. So dash into dash uh, plus dash equal to 35. Okay. Hope you got the answer. So we can write, um, yeah, nine into three, 27, right? So nine into three, 27. So 27 plus, uh, yeah, 27 plus eight, you get 35. Or three into nine, 27. 27 plus eight, you get 35. So you can fill it. So you have n number of options, right? So you can choose any option, which is correct. That's it, okay? But here you don't have an option four, right? So you can't fill four, right? Because uh, nine into four is 36. Okay, so actually nine into four, 36. Okay, by multiplying which number? Okay, so eight into four, 32, 32 plus three, 35, but you can't choose four because you don't have option four here, right? So that is empty. So you can't choose 18 to four, 32, 32 plus three, uh, 35, that is not possible. So this option is ruled out. So you have to choose nine into three plus eight. So this becomes your answer. Okay, next question, dash by dash into dash equal to 21. Dash by dash into dash equal to 21. Okay, now at this place, definitely we can fill with a seven, right? By dividing which number by which number, you will get three because three into seven is 21, right? So you can write nine by three or six by two, right? So you can write any number, right? So six by two is three or nine by uh, three is also three. So three into seven is 21, right? But you don't have uh, the block nine. So which number we can choose? So we can choose six by two, right? So six by two is three, three into seven is 21. So this option is not possible. Nine by three is not possible because that is empty here, right? So some boxes will be empty. You can't choose that. Okay, now you have dash by dash into dash equal to three. So which number we can choose? Dash by dash into dash equal to three. So we can choose which number. So can we choose one by three, one by three into nine, because one by three into nine, you get three, right? So you can choose any numbers, right? But it should be a one digit number, right? So it should be a one digit number. You can't choose a two digit number, right? So it should be a one digit number, okay? So moving to next question. So dash by dash into dash equal to eight. So what will come at the place of dash? So try to pass the video for some time and work it down by yourself. Okay, I hope you got the answer. Okay, we can click six here. Yeah, six by three is two, right? So six by three is two. So six by three is two, two into four is eight, right? Or you will also get four by two, right? So four by two is two, but two into four, you can't use this, uh, I mean, same digit, right? So it is six by three into four equal to eight. So you will get the answer. Okay, next question. Dash into dash plus dash equal to 25. Right, so dash by dash into dash plus dash equal to 25. So which number we can choose? So you have many options, right? So you have many options. So you can uh, write uh, two into eight. So two into eight is 16. 16 plus nine, you get 25. So we have many other options. So we don't want to discuss all the options because they are basic, right? So you can choose any options, but you have to satisfy this condition, right? Hope you got it. Now, that's it. So these were all the questions I have created for practice. So I hope definitely this could have uh, helped, I mean, uh, this could have helped you in some kind, right? So if you feel this lesson is really helpful, so like the video and share it to your friends. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.